Well, today we are at Avrik um, for a demonstration exercise, a comparison between two pieces of equipment of the same kind, Caterpillar Dozer, Model D5. One of them is equipped with a three-dimensional automation system with two GNSS antennas on the cabin from Leica Geosystems, while the other is not equipped um, with automation. I have uh, I've located and uh, selected this FSS in such a way that the machine behind me can show what it can demonstrate. I have chosen slightly more difficult terrain. We have stripped up to 20 centimeters from the initial level, as required by the designer approximately 4,000 square meters drawn to the theoretical level. The equipment works automatically, records all the levels and sends them to a platform called Connex, where they can be accessed by the project manager. The project, the conventional method, becomes very difficult to achieve. At the same time, the machine monitors every aspect of the work and provides instant feedback to the operator by indicating the level and slope in the working position. That is, the operator can instantly see what tolerance and deviation they have in the position where they are working. It also has access to the offset option. If the terrain, uh, as in this case, is quite difficult and we cannot strip 20 centimeters in a single pass, the system allows us to go in increments of 5 centimeters and then uh, in four passes we reach the desired level and the terrain behind is prepared for the next stage of work. I am now in the working area of the bulldozer, which is not equipped with Leica Geosystems. <laughs> the uh, stripping was completed somewhere in uh, two and a half to three hours. And the leveling of the embankment requires at least two people. As can be seen at the moment, there are three engineers on the site who are somewhat coordinating the levels executed by the bulldozer using additional equipment. An operator with a lot of experience is needed to precisely follow the engineer's instructions. As I, Asinche, of Apense, it is also necessary for the engineer to spend 100% of the time with the bulldozer around it and to check, update, and essentially you go over the same place many times to execute a graded embankment within tolerance. Or also, the operator the never has an overall picture of what is happening in that specific work area, but always needs clear instructions from an experienced engineer. And at the moment, we are somewhere at 75%. After five hours of work, we also have a bulldozer that is not equipped, but it has a fairly experienced, talented operator who has done approximately 3,000 square meters in roughly the same time. However, the difficult part now falls to the surveying team, which is required uh, to provide clear instructions every three to four minutes to the operator and returning to the same work point is necessary. It is a time-consuming task. It requires a lot of assistance uh, from the surveyor because the project is not of a certain level and we need to follow the natural model structure which involves many slopes in the terrain. Um, as an example, we have a, a, a difference probably of uh, five meters with the level according to our excavation project, okay? And in the next five meters, we should suddenly lower by 10 centimeters, which is a disruption or a difficulty for the operator to determine how to follow the trajectory with the blade. Yes, the effectiveness of the guided system through the GPS of the bulldozers is much faster, much more precise. It handles things as long as the data is correctly provided and you have something to verify at the start. You can let it do its job with no problem. Having at the end uh, an already elevated surface with a much higher point density. Uh, here we have uh, situations where if the, the density of the points is not that high, the model is not as conclusive.
it does not require my very detailed topographic assistance, more from a safety check standpoint. Uh, after it makes two or three passes or strips, I can uh, check if the system I am using communicates and uh, is in the same mode as the system implemented in the bulldozer. We no longer need to stay in just uh, one area. If we have another one or two over this entire two kilometer area, it would be much more efficient. We would have more dump trucks and transport would be much quicker. And regarding production costs, we save on operating hours and fuel, which nowadays is a significant factor for us. I worked only talk uh, only the traditional way without GPS with an operator. I say that the operator matters a lot, helps you a lot, but for the uncovering done today, Laika is much more practical considering the given points and the levels that are in the field. Given the very large level differences, it's much harder with the operator and the need for an assistant who measures all the time to maintain the elevation of the natural ground level. While well, Laika calculates it on its own. I say it's very advantageous, the system is very easy to use. I personally got on the bulldozer. It is very, very simple to use with the Leica system. We can also use operators who are less skilled or have less experience. Practically, not to exaggerate, I, I would say even a child can use it but also a person without much experience can operate the system. It is very practical and easy to access, meaning it takes only a few minutes to understand how to handle the system. From the comfort of your office, uh, we can access through the Connex platform the daily activity of each machine equipped with the Leica Geosystems system. The platform has access to productivity, fleet management, and the insertion or extraction of projects from the machine. So, the Connex platform gives us the option to access each system individually, effectively, with remote control, meaning we can make certain settings. Additionally, we can help the operator make certain settings on the construction site set up their project. Also, we have the part where we can monitor the project remotely. As you can see here, we have lot 2, the area where we did the demonstration. We can select the machines, in our case CAD B5. Also, the entire list of projects that we currently have active and regarding the measurement of points including surfaces, we can automatically input certain parameters and essentially export the surface at the end. The way projects are added remotely is very simple. We choose the desired file, in our case batch 15560. We select the unit and type of equipment and press the upload button. This will be uh, added to the list of projects here, as can be seen with the information extracted from the Connex platform in the form of XML language. We can enter Civil 3D and analyze the uh, precision uh, with which it was executed. In our case, the topographic survey was done uh, manually for the area where the equipment was not fitted with the system. And we can see from a simple check uh, that we have an extra excavation by up to 30 centimeters. The entire red area exceeds 20 centimeters. The yellow zone exceeds approximately 10 centimeters. And the green zone is within tolerance. This is a created map. So on this platform, we can quickly check and determine the volume quantities with automated topographic surveying from the equipment.